Welcome to the V-System assembly instruction video. We recommend having your V-System instruction manual handy. And the first thing is to consider the plant spacing that best suits your grow room layout. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates, new content, and much more. The first step is to lay out the tees and elbows showing where you'd like to place the pots, just to make sure that you have the system set up properly and that it will fit in your growing area. For measuring the pipe, you can measure from flange to flange on the fittings. When you're ready to start assembling, put a thin layer of silicone grease on the barbed edge of the fitting and slide the pipe on. Be sure to put a five inch clamp over the pipe before assembling the next piece. We highly recommend using a power drill such as this to tighten the clamps. When you're putting in the blue elbows, make sure that the drain point is towards the floor. Repeat the process until the entire five inch pipe manifold is complete. Do not over tighten the five inch clamps. We recommend using a power drill clutch setting five maximum. It doesn't need to be perfect as the pipe is very flexible. Be sure to put the drain tap on and keep it closed and then put the cap on the other blue elbow. Fill the five inch pipe with water to check for leaks. If you do discover any leaks, do not tighten the clamps further. Instead, take them apart, take the joint apart, put it back together, tighten the clamp as normal, and try again. Next, it's time to place the pot bases, and keep in mind to keep the cutout on the right side of the five inch pipe as viewed from the header. Place a five inch silicone gasket on each of the fittings. Make sure to tighten the Venturi fitting at the top there. The washer goes on the outside of the pot. Tighten the nut on the inside by hand and then use the wrench supplied to tighten it completely. Note the Venturi direction matters. Place the pots on the bases. This gap is normal. Tighten the nuts. Be careful as the teeth on this wrench are very sharp. Attach the quick connect fittings. Measure between these flanges on the quick connect fittings. Make sure to put pipe inserts in the pipe. Make sure they're completely seated. Make sure to put a pipe insert in both ends. Place the terminals on top of the five inch pipe. Both sides that go into the pump actually have a union on them, so it's easiest to disconnect the union, screw the side that goes into the pump into the pump, and then reconnect the union. Fit the tank connectors into the header. The smaller one goes above the bigger one. One washer goes on the inside and one goes on the outside. Hold the threaded fitting on the inside and tighten the outside by hand. Place 
Place the pump and filter manifold where you would like it to go. Then measure the distance to determine what pipe lengths you need to cut. The 40 millimeter gray pipe goes on the bottom and the 32 millimeter red pipe goes on the top. Make sure to slide clamps on before fitting the pipe onto the fittings. Note for the smaller clamps used for the red pipe, you will need to loosen them slightly before they can actually fit over the red pipe. Using a little bit of silicone grease on these connections can make it much easier to slide the pipe on. Make sure to install the blue nut inside the header pot to fit it to the 5-inch manifold. Next, connect a 40-inch piece of pipe that has not been cut to the outlet of the filter. Place the distribution tee on top of the 5-inch pipe where you would like it to go then measure the distance that you need to cut on the 40 millimeter pipe that you just connected to the outlet of the filter. Make sure to slide a clamp on before you attach this. Next, measure the distance of 40 millimeter pipe you need to cut to connect the terminals to the distribution T. Make sure to put a clamp on before putting the pipe on. Fit the pot clips above where the venturis are, then put the silencer on, connect with the small blue pipe from the air filter to the silencer down to the venturi inlet. Now it's time to put the tops and mesh pots in the system. Install the threaded chiller fittings into the header pot. We recommend putting the longer side inside, tighten the nuts in, and then we also recommend putting the caps on these on the inside, as that allows you to connect a chiller later without having a flood of water when you want to remove the caps. Notice that the water outlet portion of the float valve goes down. Install the float valve into the header pot. The float valve can be adjusted to control the water level. You can connect the float valve to a top-up tank using flexible pipe with 5 8 inch inner diameter. Now it's time to fill your system completely. The fill line on the pots shows the recommended height for the water. Plug in your pump, check for leaks again, and get ready to grow in your V system. And happy gardening!